Liam, congratulations. You're the 2023 Brabazon Trophy winner. Can you just talk us through your emotions right now? Um, yeah, sure, like it, it's it's pretty hard. It's still very new, but um, yeah, I, I'm just d delighted to have this trophy. I'm about to look at some of the names on it now, and I, I'm, I know I'm going to be pleased to be putting my name there as well. And to win it in Sunningdale, I mean, it must be one of the best courses in the world to win a to win a golf tournament. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. You said in the presentation it's probably one of the coolest places to win it. Yeah. Just talk us through why that would be. Well, just the, the name, the, the history. I mean, the new course is still over 100 years old. I found that out this week. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of really, really good winners here in the past. And to put my name on a trophy for, uh, playing in Sunningdale is, is amazing. There was probably a lot of talk about Sean last night, and rightly so, given how he played over the first three days. What did you do last night to kind of calm your nerves and just make sure you were focused on your own game? Um, I called my coach. Um uh, I called him the last two days actually because I knew my two day, the first two days I um, made a few mistakes I wouldn't usually make but I knew I was playing well mm. so I just called him and I was like you know I'm just going to go out enjoy it stay as calm as possible I know I'm playing well mm. so uh, I mean I could only go out and do my job today I couldn't really worry about anyone else mm. and uh, it was enough in the end thank God and in the playoff you obviously were well, here today you had your parents you had all the Gulf Island boys as well just how special was that for them yeah like to share a moment with people that have uh, been with you through thick and thin in this game especially mom and dad like um they they've seen all the ups and downs so uh we'll we'll definitely treasure this moment for a long time and you know those golf ireland guys are my best friends so um yeah, I know it's special to have them here this weekend for them to be following me for most of the round today and uh, cheering me on after good and bad shots. It, it's amazing. Mm, and just a few words about Zach Little as well, because that was an epic playoff and yeah. he performed really well today. I mean, seven under today is is some achievement um, around that course. Uh, I don't know where he got seven birdies, but um, really, really, really good stuff from Zach. And I'd never played with him and I saw the ball come off the driver on the first hole of the playoff and I was... My jaw nearly dropped. I was like, this is going to be a really, really tough one to win. Um, and, and he played lovely, just unfortunately lipped out on the uh, 21st playoff hole, so a uh, 21st hole of the day. So, um, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of good things coming from Zach. I was really impressed with him. Mm. And just finally, I know it's new, but any plans to celebrate this evening into the week? Um, I'm actually going to Spain next week for a little bit of a, a, a break before we have we, a, a long schedule coming up of really big tournaments so um, I'm just going to relax, play a little bit of golf and uh, really just think about what I did this week and enjoy it. Fantastic stuff, many congratulations. Thank Liv. you very much, appreciate it.